One of the most wonderful pursuits in life can be learning how to garden. There's something so special about planting a seed and then seeing the beautiful flower or plant that results. Well, I'm joined now by Barry Kirsch, who is a master gardener from Seminole County. And Barry, you have found a really fun way to teach people about gardening and to excite them. So first of all, welcome. Well, thank you, thank you. And I want you to tell us about a book that you have written. It's called The Fairy Robots of Restoration Cottage. What is this? Well, the fairy robots are master gardeners of a sort that were created by fairies in the early 1800s. And they created them to grow food for them because people were starting to move to cities and gardening fell out of favor, so they created them. Um, at my house at Restoration Cottage, we had an elm tree that got hit and when it crashed, it opened a portal to England back in the 1800s. Wow. Sucked in one of the fairy robots right here and the story began and he started working in my garden and I, I finally noticed him and found out that, oh, these guys are kind of different. And wow. so the whole story revolves around them in my garden, how they came to be, their, the history. Um, and it also, being a master gardener, I'm charged with, number one, teaching people about earth-friendly, sustainable gardening. And number two, helping them with garden issues, problems, you know, what's eating my plants, right? So we can do that through all the extension things that we do mm -hmm. in the classes. Um, but also being a storyteller my whole life, um, I'm retired from uh, media, news, Yes. I decided to write a book and also illustrate it because I love art. I've always done that my whole life and incorporate those principles in the storyline. Oh, so okay. as we're telling the story about the fairy robots, you're actually learning the earth friendly, sustainable principles of gardening as they're couched in the story. It's so brilliant. it's not like a number one, do this, number two, do that. It's we did this and this and this, and that's what you should do. I and just love this. And you created, may, may I? May yes. I touch? Mm -hmm. So you created these robots, and who is this? That is Clank. Okay. Uh, and one of the main characters, I yes. presume. Yes, mm -hmm. there are okay. seven in book one, and they are, they're all the same height. They were created by the fairy robots, or excuse me, by the fairies to do that gardening for them. Mm -hmm. They fly um, with propellers, not wings, because they're, they're machines. Ah. They basically live forever, um, and they don't garden with magic. They garden with garden tools, right? I love like the rest this. of us, right? Yeah. Um, and they have no ill will towards people. They just garden 24-7, seven, seven days a week, and they've been doing this for almost 200 years now. My goodness. And I noticed as I was flipping through your book, um, there's different chapters where different robots are sort of telling their story? Right, as the portal exists for, that was opened to England in, in the past, um, it, others get sucked through. And This is so much fun. Right, and the others, and then finally Queen Titania here comes through when she finds out that my wife is a jeweler and can make her a crown of silver, and then she goes, oh, well, I'll be right there, and there she is. <laughs> and then this crown actually was made by my wife, Debbie, that um, is so neat. I gotta look a little more closely at that. Yeah. Oh, and it has some type yeah, of a, a gemstone. precious a gemstone. Mm -hmm. So, Barry, this is all so fun. What is your hope for this? What do you well, want to accomplish? Well, like I said, my main goal as a master gardener is to teach. And I love storytelling because I've done mm -hmm. that my whole life. Mm -hmm. And I love artwork because I've done that my whole life. This lets me combine all the things I love into one vehicle, so to speak. Um, that accomplishes everything. And it yeah. gets the message out that people of all ages can understand it and read. Um, it's written for not a particular age group. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, they can read the book and say, well, you know, that's kind of cool. And maybe that's how I need to do my gardening. I love it. I love it. Now, if people are interested in getting this book and, and learning, reading this story, how can they do so? Well, the book's available on Amazon. You can order it from uh, Barnes and Noble and most of the big um, bookstores sure. will have it. But you can also go to our website, uh, thefairyrobotsofrestorationcottage.com, 
and order it there. Okay. Um, and you will get, if you order it there, you get uh, a signed copy. Oh, nice. Yes, and you can also order, there's an ebook available as well. So okay. people can read it on Kindles and things like that. Barry, thank you so much for oh. sharing your, your creativity today and your passion for gardening. It's a lot of fun. Oh, it is, it is. It's been very rewarding to do it, and it's just something I never thought I would see myself doing. <laughs> Well, this is fabulous. So if you're interested in learning more about the fairy robots of Restoration Cottage, you can get the book, you can enjoy the story, and hopefully this will inspire you to start gardening as well. That was great. I do.